Disclaimer. No unnecessary traveling or gathering took place in the filming of this video. All footage was filmed in my backyard with the help of my sister. Also, don't try any of these stupid actions at home. I'm just dumb. Hi, I'm Oliver Grills. I'm Bear's second cousin's former roommate. And today, I'm taking a trek deep into the unknown so that I can show you some survival tips for what happens when you get lost in the jungle. Let's go. Alright, now the first thing you're going to want to do is locate a source of fresh water, which lucky for us, the entrance to the woods gives us a nice stream right here. Now you can only survive three days without water, so it is essential that you get the purest form of the substance that you can. Now look at this, this is some nice fresh water. Now most people tell you to purify it. But old Oliver Grill says, just go for it. What is water? It's good for you. <coughs> oh. 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 Maybe, maybe on second thought, <coughs> maybe you should purify it. Cut the camera. <coughs> you see that? Oh, that's a car. Oh my God. Looks like the body's been absolutely destroyed. Oh, you know what I think it is? That's from the car wreck of 1876. Oh, I think that's what that's from. And now I'm gonna do what everybody does. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Come with me. Amazing. Like this right here. Oh, the brush. The tiny leaves. This is a dragon's nest. This is their classic habitat. Don't you think? Uh, dragons don't exist. They don't? The woods can be a dangerous place for people who are not on their toes and have the skills to fight. A kabam! Stealthy. Oh my god. I've never seen a creature like this, this size. It looks like, it looks like Bigfoot. It's too big to be a bear, and there's nothing else that looks like it. So, oh, there's another one. Let's see where it leads. It's going and going. I think I've made a scientific discovery of a new character. Oh, sorry. I got stuck in the mud. What? Those are mine. So your boot prints. You're a disgrace. Look at these stalks. You know raccoons and deer, they eat all this. Filled with protein. So if it's filled with protein, you might want to look at this for food. Yeah. Another thing a master outdoorsman needs to do to survive in the woods is blend in, become your surroundings. It's a perfect place for hiding right here. So I'm gonna show off my mastery hiding skills and you guys try to find me, all right? Found you. No, you didn't. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's you. No, not me. Oh, all right. Ha! Huh. You guys didn't see me. Hiding right in plain sight. What'd I tell you? Master hider. Let's continue. Look over here. It's one of those weird shaped things. I think this one's a little bit bigger. I think Native Americans use it to call out animals. <coughs> and this is my Schwarzenegger. Wow, wow, wow. See that? Look at the mighty creek. See how it ebbs and flows? 
another great source for fresh water, but since we already found that, it's time to catch us some fish. Listen to the mighty creek roar, it is so loud, I have to scream. Let's go catch some fish. Look at this. It's a beauty, ain't it? This will be a great dinner for tonight. Well, now that we've got our bounty, let's get up out of here. Ahem. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, well, rocking back. Now, we're trekking back through the woods through this dangerous tradition. Unless I'll miss this coil of sticks right here. This could be used to make a bed. Yeah, yeah see? Nice and firm. Oh. After a long, hard day of foraging. Oh, yes, this is what you want to come down to. Oh, just feel it in your back. Oh, this was a bad idea. As I was walking through the brush, I found a stick. He's a little clingy to me. Well, that's okay. I think I'm gonna name him Tiny Twig Tim. And he's gonna be my buddy. Let's keep going. So, Tim, how do you like the view? Is it nice? I think it's nice. It's good. No! Tim! I was so young! Welcome to the funeral service for Tiny Twig Tim. Tim was a good man. Tim was a tall man. Tim was a prick of branch. Enough said. All right, guys. What about the rhino? Rhino? Behind you. It's an angry rhino! Run! Thank you guys, this has been Survival Tips with Oliver Grills.